It's Two Dudes Reviews, and today we're going to be checking out the differences between a $30 to $50 bottle of Napa, Maryvale, Merlot, Coombsville, Napa Valley, and a intertwine 2015 Merlot from Oakville, Napa Valley, from Naked Wines, about a $13 to $20 bottle. What are the differences? How will a $30 to $50 bottle of Merlot from Napa stack up to a Naked Wines $20 or less bottle? It's Two Dudes Reviews. It's Jay and Andy from Two Dudes Reviews. It's you Andy want, and Jay from I, Two Dudes Reviews. I almost was expecting you to say, hey, and we're back. I didn't say that because <laughs> this is the intro. I'm trying to sit as close as possible because Andy insisted that I wear my review shirt. Without a doubt. And, uh, so, and my shirts so, are not matching the shirt right now. Yeah, I feel like well, a newscaster. Yeah, it looked like a newscaster. <laughs> um, so, I, yeah, I want to open this up with a question. Okay. To your mom here. Yeah, this is my mom. This is this is Sharon. I, I get my amazing voice from my mother. She missed her calling. She should have been in radio. I've always said you should have been in radio. She would have made a lot of money in radio because, you know, back in the days when you were, were working, mm -hmm. women in radio made big, big, big dollars. You know, and I don't even remember you saying I should be in radio. Well, oh I my probably gosh. didn't back then. He's probably making it about. up right now. <laughs> <laughs> but but I got to ask you a question, Sharon. When Jay was a kid, did he wear the same shirt all the time? Because he wears this damn shirt for every stupid video, Fuck off, right? Andy. Now, granted, I have three or four shirts that I wear, and you'll see those on a regular basis because, well, they make me look good, and I gotta look good in this company with these amazing women. But um, anyway, Will you let my mom answer the damn question. Oh, yeah, did he wear the same shirt all the time? No, he changed every day, now and then. Did he? Every now and then? She was about to say every day, which would have been the truth. Every day? I'm, you no, know, I shower every change. single day. He, yeah. Listen, you guys came here to check out a review, so here's yeah. the deal. Oh, wait, a review. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, we've Let's got two that. bottles of wine here. This Mary Vale, it's a 2014 Merlot. It's from Coonville, Napa Valley, one of our very favorite wineries on the face of the planet. These guys are known for amazing red wines. And then oh, yeah. next to it, from Naked Wines, which is a winery that Andy turned us on to, what are we uh, sipping on there? This is a 2015 Merlot from Oakville in Napa Valley. Okay, great So these region. are both Napa wines, and, and Naked Wines claims Napa Valley is an origin for most of their wines, and that's all good, right? So this is the Intertwine. Okay. Apparently, I don't know if I can it's read that right. It's kind of weird. I, and I haven't had anything to drink yet, so... <laughs> You know, this is like normal and stuff. <laughs> Intertwine. So it's an Intertwine Merlot 2015 from Napa. The Maryvale is a 2014, granted. So here's um, the premise. Maryvale wines, 38 to 50, 60 bucks for their regular line. And then you go up to the $100 the plus profile, mark for right? profiles. Absolutely. And naked oh, nothing wine. but the best for you, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> and then a little bit of this. Yeah, no, the naked know. wines <laughs> typically, you know, average between, you know, 12, 12 15. to 15 bucks. Sometimes yeah. you can find a $20 bottle on there. So we have a blind taste here. Our producer, Brian, who's behind the camera. Hey, Brian. Here, cheers. Um, poured the wine. We have no idea what's in glass number one, which we all have the same kind of glass number okay, one. Okay, glass number one. We're and starting with that. glass number two that has some type of a label on it. So okay. let's try glass number one and uh, give some uh, Glass number opinion. one. We're going to swirly swirl. Did you aerate these at all, we have Brian? To swirly swirl. Did we open? No aeration. No. They've been open for about no. 10 minutes. Be okay, swirl. so. I'm gonna we wanna, swirl this mm, for we're gonna I make. Oh man, I'm smelling some nice big oak in there. We're gonna we're gonna give these mm. wines some uh, some air. Another real big jam. Yeah. Let's Ooh, start with you, Allison. Jam. What are you getting on that? Berry, berry jam. Mm -hmm. Berry. Okay. It's super young. Uh, again, I'm drink it right now. <laughs> my immediate impression was was big oak, and yeah, I can get some of that jammy, some of that uh, dark red fruit. Mom, mm. how about you? What do you? I love it. It's really, really smooth. Smooth? Yes. Okay. You've tasted it already. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> Mom, 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 don't mess around. She doesn't mess around. Right, straight to the point. Cut okay, to the chase. Tell me I like if anybody it. gets a little bit of cinnamon. There could be some cinnamon uh -huh. in there. I get a little. Mm -hmm. I, I'm. It's hard to overcome the berry, right? So this is kind of like. Jam. Okay. Like, so yeah. so so if I'm going to be making dessert and I've got some blackberries, I'm going to throw some cinnamon over the top of that with some sugar. Put them in a put them in a pan with a little bit of water. Reduce them down a little bit and throw those over some vanilla ice cream. Oh, that sounds good. Now I'm. Just, what are we having for dessert tonight, by the yeah. way? <laughs> vanilla ice cream and blackberry. Want. Oh my no, god. It's, it's going to be birthday cake. Oh, birthday yeah, cake. That's, that's right. It is our son's 16th birthday. Happy Caleb. birthday, Caleb. He's our rock star in training. What are you tasting on that? Chill. What do you smell? Um, I get a little cinnamon, like Allison said. Okay. I tasted it. 
cinnamon and I on the get nose and cinnamon, cinnamon on, on the palate. Okay. So, yeah. okay. Okay. Coming back around. So I, haven't, I haven't sipped it yet. Zip it. Hurry, hurry. What are you I'm just going to say without trying both of them yet, my guess here, knowing Maryvale as well as I do, is that this is the Maryvale. I haven't even tasted or smelled this one, but I've had enough naked wines to know some of the smells and flavors that are indicative of a naked wine. And, it, and it's one of the critiques that I have about naked wines. We'll talk about that in a second. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna go on record to say that I, I would bet money on the yep. fact that this is a Maryvale. Yep. Twenty bucks? Twenty bucks. Twenty, 20 bucks. bucks. You got it. Twenty bucks. I'm gonna say that what this wine lacks is body. Okay. Um, it's thin. Um, it's it's not. I, I don't. I don't get a whole lot of. Uh, there's there's uh, good acidity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, decent tannin structure. And a not decent huge. tannin, but it's thin. Um, and it's so. It it does. It's there for a while, but it's I'm just hard. saying there's not a whole lot of big, juicy mouthfeel. So it's not as juicy. As the as the nose would suggest. Okay. And what I want to know is what do you get, not what don't you get, but what do you get? Okay. I, I get I get a clean, easy drinking wine, out of this. Yes. Okay. Um, not super It's clean complex. and easy drinking, but it's not real complex. It's to me, it tastes a little thin. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's my that's, personal take. Yeah. Let's move along that's, to wine number two. How about? Oh, really? Let's Already? Well, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not done. This I want to hear Allison. This is going to be an hour-long yeah. video. I know. It's so, going to be okay. a 12-minute video. Allison said Allison's going to talk about. Right off the bat, smelling. I want to know about your mouth feel and taste but, because you've got a, a, a decent good palate. palate. Yeah. I taste. I taste berry. It's fruit forward, but really tart. Really mm. tart, and it makes my ears go. Really. And then it's a long finish. But it's it's lacking that creamy that I want. Okay. So like red wine, I like that velvet. In my sure. Mouth. Mm -hmm. So that velvet is, isn't there. Mm -mm. Okay. It's hmm. still. I mean, I, I it's think interesting. It's these are both yeah, merlots whiskey. from Napa. Oh. The color on both of these are strikingly similar. If they want to drink merlot, we're drinking merlot. No, if anybody orders merlot, I'm leaving. I am not drinking any fucking merlot. Okay, okay, <laughs> relax, Miles. Jesus, no merlot. Did you bring your Xanax? They very similar. Look identical, don't yeah. they? Very similar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you guys get that tart, though, where it kind of... I get a peppery here. Yeah, this is a naked wine right here. I, I can tell a, you right off the bat. I think that's one of the things I like I about it. I get a peppery, it. I get a peppery, it's, it's really uh, good. I get a peppery nose to this. This one, it's light at the top. A higher alcohol it's got content, like a, It's got like a shadow on it. It's got, it's got a little, it's got a shadow. Okay. Different sort of... You know, I would guesstimate that that means color. a higher alcohol. This is 14.9% alcohol. This is a whole 14.5. So they're about the yeah, same about as the far same. as alcohol content. Mm -hmm. Typically, a silver ridge or a clear mm -hmm. ridge, the clearer the ridge. And this is a bigger glass, so it's going to be uh, uh, pronounced on each one of these. But the, this the wine. bigger the, the clear ridge is the higher the alcohol content. Sharon, tell, oh, really? us, tell us about your experience in this wine. I like this one better. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I, I this is fine, but I still like this. You know, and I don't, honestly, guys, I can't. This drops. Smells this, yeah. cinnamon or. The finish on that is incredibly quick. It I just get it. Not as smoky. Again, here is my critique on naked wines. It is to me, it seems like naked wines uh, got mm -hmm. a whole crap ton of grapes from wherever in Northern California. Put them all into a, uh, a vat, got the juice out, threw 16 different labels on them, called it boutique, and they all come from the same place because I pick up the same type of smoke overtones on every single naked wine I've had. Oh. And that is so to me, and I'm not saying the naked wines is a scam because they're inexpensive wines, right? And, and you can have some fun, the social media aspects of naked wines. They're a nice everyday drinking wine. Right. But to me, I get the grapefruit and I get the smokiness off of the naked wines every single time. And again, I think I just won twenty dollars. And it I doesn't seem to be it doesn't wine. seem to be the uh, whether it's a Zinfandel, mm -hmm. uh, Pinot Noir, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. They all, I and I think that's what's a little bit more tart. More tart, grapefruit, more tart. grapefruit is what I'm getting on that. Mm -hmm. A big fruit forward Which flavor on wine like number best? one. I like number um, one better. Um, with I a long finish. Brian. Let me try number two again though. I know okay. I'll let you know. Okay. I'm 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 really I know I know that our viewers or on pins and needles, Jill. <laughs> so take your drink and tell us what you think. And then let's find out which is and which. And then let's find out which is which. 
Number one. It's really tart. Really tart. And a quick really finish. Really tart. With quick, a quick finish. Quick, watery well, a finish. Tart, I don't know. Yeah. A tart is going to linger a little bit, right? This has got more of the smooth velvet the and the soft tannins that I love. Super tart. This is, I don't get a good tannin structure on this. All I get is the tartness. Yeah. And the tannins are going to dry that out and leave you with that oaky, wonderful velvetiness. And this is just, all I get is spice from that. Right. You know, spice Big and spice. a little bit of tart. There's, there's not a lot of sweet. There's not nope. a lot of. Not a lot of sweet. It's not a lot just of spice. all tart. It's, it, it feels to me like it's one, one character. Yeah. Okay. Tart. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. yeah. All right. Brian. So not a lot of layers. Wine number one is. Mary. I, I nailed it. I nailed it. Forty dollars. Show me the money. <laughs> Gross. Gross. Cheers. So listen. Um, you just made ten dollars. Yeah, I just I made twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty bucks. Yeah. 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 I get thirty percent of that. You know. He thinks he made twenty dollars, <laughs> but she's Brian gonna take gonna nineteen of them. <laughs> yeah. So whatever you thought you were getting, Jave. Come yeah, on, I have to whatever. afford this hairdo. I know. Okay. What? So uh, there we go, side by side, right? I mean, yeah. ultimately, if you're looking for value wine, you have to always bear in mind, of course. This is a $12 bottle of wine. This is a $40 bottle of wine. Yeah. Um, and they are, there is a, a measure of, <laughs> there is a measure of quality difference between wines at a certain point. Um, that is not to say that the more you pay, the better it's gonna be. Cause there's a whole lot of people that'll take a $8 bottle of wine to a party where, where you're not allowed to spend more than 20 yeah. and the eight dollar bottle will crush we'll shine, yeah. right and and, uh, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give a mm -hmm. shout out to your girl Brian because we have had some Trader Joe's wines that are off the, off chain, the chain good the Trader Joe's special select or whatever it's uh, called. well there's a whole bunch of them Reserve. And, and yeah and the real and the reality is these Trader Joe's wines are sourced from Maryvale vineyards I mean they're sourced from the same yeah. vineyards as a whole lot of really good wine in Napa and so if you do have a Trader Joe's near you, mm -hmm. I highly suggest going out and trying them out. I bought four bottles of Trader Joe's today and I love their <laughs> wine. I really do, I love their wine. Uh, and we're gonna be at Maryville Vineyard next week, yeah. uh, sitting with hopefully the winemaker. Wine hopefully you were a stud and got that hooked yeah. up. We're gonna be terrible. sitting with Maryvale. They invited us out to do, do some reviews. So stay tuned because we'll have a full on Maryville review from the winery here in the next few weeks. Um, until I then, like, I feel like we're at your house when you're uh, when the, the log uh, the guy log guy comes across. Oh, with a oh my gosh! Yeah, no, he's gone. <laughs> did you grab some champagne? They, for us at Trader Joe's today? No, I did not. No, and, and, no, I didn't. And, and mom, any final words before Sharon, we wrap up tell this us what review you think. here? No, I'm just glad I was able to taste the difference. Of oh, the oh, nice. The two. My mom was concerned it's today fantastic. because she yeah. doesn't it's drink. Side. You know, it's as a casual drinker. How often do you, do you pair two wines side by side, exact same kind of region, yeah. exact same you know type of a grape, and and do something like this? So I'm glad you were able to taste some of the nuances and differences from this the oak great. aging and from the <laughs> estate grown. Anyways, we're two dudes reviews. Until next time. Cheers.